It's one of those crucial reminders we have to remember to share. It's okay to talk about mental health. In fact, it's extremely important. You never know. Opening up and discussing the issues going on and in your head could help save a life. In 2009, the tragic passing of Jesse Klump, a young scholar from Snow Hill, spawned a unique suicide awareness and prevention program that offers support and raises funds for this very worthy cause. And this weekend, it'll be time to paddle out once again. And we'd like to welcome Kim Klump. She is the president of Jesse's Paddle. She is joined by Donna Gleckler, an outreach coordinator. Thank you both for being Thank here you. this Thank afternoon. Thank you for having us. It's great to be here. Hard to believe it's been that long. I know. Yeah, so why did you start Jesse's Paddle? Well, Jesse was one of those people who felt he wanted to do something to make the world a better place. And one of the things that I thought of doing in that realm was to start a scholarship, actually. That's how we started. But then shortly thereafter, within two years, I said, we gotta do more than help one person a year. So we started the Suicide Awareness and Prevention Program because I was also learning that resources in our area were slim or none, and there was no place to really go talk about it. There was a yellow ribbon. Mm -hmm. uh, group for survivors like myself that I went to that had been dissolving over that time mm. and I thought well I'll have fill that niche you know yeah so. yeah so mm -hmm. why did you choose this kind of specific gathering uh, well Jesse worked at the canoe shop for mm -hmm. years and it just seemed fitting actually Ron Pilling the co-founder along with me had come up with the idea and I thought that's perfect and it's different, you know, it different, would be yeah. a great fundraiser idea. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and of course it's mm -hmm. happening this weekend. And yeah. Donna, what can folks expect if they come to Jesse's Poker Paddle? We <laughs> are going to paddle up the beautiful Pocomoke River. We have five stops where you stop and get a card. At the end of the paddle, the best card hand wins a prize. Um, we also have a DJ, we have free hot dogs. Uh, we have a 50-50 raffle, a silent auction, so come on out. It's a really good time. I went last year. Did you? Yes, mm -hmm. I had a wonderful time. So how does an organization that you know helps support people who have experienced suicide, what, what is your role? Well, I tend to handle more the um, survivors of suicide loss end of things. Okay. I became a grief counselor and I've been trained I'm kind of like the local suicide expert in that area, and I do a monthly support group in Berlin, and I mentor those that I find out about who just need someone to talk to that they can relate to that's had a similar loss. Uh, I provide resources in that area as far, uh, written. I suggest books. You know, um, I'll go through different therapies with people that they might want to try based on what they're telling me they need and what's not working. So that's kind of what I do. Um, I'm always trying to look for those who need support that are considering suicide as well, you know, and I'm monitoring Facebook, just people I know, or somebody will tell me something, I'll be like, red flag, I need to go talk to that person. But I don't counsel, per se. Mm -hmm. no. So what do, what do we do if we see someone and, and, and see a red flag? What can well, we Well, warning do? signs are the red flags. Mm -hmm. um, you want to think about if somebody's changed their behavior in any way, good or bad. Um, they're sleeping more or they're not sleeping. They're eating more or they're not eating. Um, one big thing is they start giving away possessions, telling people I'm not going to need these things anymore. Um, for somebody who is a perfectionist uh, that stresses out a lot, that can be a big warning sign we're finding, a new one that has yeah. come up. Mm. Um, that they're finding, especially with students that put so much pressure on themselves to excel in academics and athletics and their extracurriculars. It's like they want to be number one at everything, and you can't, nobody's perfect. No. You know, uh, sometimes they just put so much stress on that it causes them to become despondent. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And you have another event happening. Uh, the paddle yeah. is on mm -hmm. Saturday, yes. but there's an event Thursday night? Yes, the following Thursday at Salisbury University, we have a group of people who started an organization after the death of the father mm -hmm. where they talk about suicide in a documentary, and they also have written their own music and perform it as a group. Power, um, the Big Infinite is the group's name, and the whole 
um, presentation that they do for the public is called Power of Expression. Mm, okay. So I encourage people to come out to Salisbury University for that because that'll be a great event too. Okay. We also have the Evening of Reflection on Friday night for lost survivors and the walk in Ocean City on Saturday. So we're busy this month. We're very, very <laughs> yes. busy and we'll have all that information mm -hmm. on our mm -hmm. website, delmarvalife.com. Remind mm -hmm. us real quickly, Jesse's Poker Paddle is Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Uh, registrations at four mm -hmm. and five to seven. Five to seven. Right. And it's going to be good yeah. weather. Yes, it's going to yes, be good weather. Absolutely. Nice. Hey, Madonna, thank you so much. Thanks and thank you for, for all your doing. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Absolutely. We love your support.